How's it going everyone? It's Sam. I want to bring a little short update for you here today on something to watch out for in crypto. Now, at the time of this recording, we can actually see Bitcoin has popped up a good amount since it was at $39,000 yesterday. I want to explain what happened and something to look out for here in the short term. Now, this is just going to be a short video. If you guys like these short videos, and it seems like a lot of people do, please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. That tells me that you guys really like this and you want to see more of it. Also, if you do want to check out the link underneath the video, you can check it out to BlockFi to get interest rate on your cryptocurrencies. If you have money over on Robinhood in crypto, it looks like they are going to be able to start allowing transfers here in the near future. So set up an account with BlockFi so you can get an interest rate. And also thank you to Unstoppable Domains, but let's get into it. So I did a video earlier today talking about what is happening with the manipulation in crypto. Now I want to give an update showing something to look out for. So this is a chart of the three to 10 year old coins, two to three, 18 month to two year and 12 to 18 months. Basically, basically all of the coins are getting older. Basically the, the holders long-term in crypto in Bitcoin are being added to and they are adding to their wallets you know they added a significant amount over the last couple months what's not increasing is the number of new holders so we can actually look here short-term holders dipped yesterday when bitcoin has has fallen from forty-eight thousand just over the last few days september 19 to now the short-term holders dipped like crazy they're being liquidated you can actually see here some other good on-chain data Bitcoin miner reserves staying steady, steadily increasing as time goes on. They're not selling. Bitcoin outflow transaction count staying about steady too. Whales are adding and new retail investors are getting liquidated. So what does this mean? That means that people are being shaky handed. They are selling, they're getting liquidated. The $1 billion in Bitcoin leverage liquidations managed to push down the price to a key Fibonacci target at 39.5 thousand then price wicked back up this is an ideal target for a wave two if we get another round of liquidations the next support levels are at 38.6 and 37.3 so this is daniel joe this is a ta guy basically we could see more more dips in the future i always like having a little bit of money on the sidelines because you know we can fall from 43 easily down to 37 I'm not saying that's gonna happen, but we can easily see people get liquidated very quickly because people are idiots. People should, inexperienced traders should not be using leverage, at least significant leverage, right? So we could see more dips in the future. I just want to bring this to your attention because it's not the whales. It's not the people that are buying and holding for the long term. It's not the people that were smart enough to get in early or the people that have enough money to buy a lot. It's retail traders with a small amount or with um, just a new position that are selling. We've shown the data on how long people have held and 97% of the volume that came over two days ago on Monday was from new traders. And we're gonna see that in the future. So if you see the price dip down, it is most likely new traders, not the smart money that's selling. Just wanted to give that update just in case of course, by the time you see this, I'm actually going to hold on to this video for a little while, uh, just for an hour or so, because I just posted a video. But Bitcoin can do anything. Just have a little bit of cash on the sidelines. Make sure you're getting an interest rate, in my opinion, but always do your own research. You guys can check out the link underneath the video. Thank you guys so much. I want to bring these numbers to you, and I'll see you in the next video.